Good evening, Barbados. After a dusty couple of days, I am pleased to report that significant progress has been made in clearing our roadways, our highways, and the majority of the critical installations in government to allow some level of normalcy to resume. I just wish for Barbadians to understand and to manage their expectations that this is not a one day or a one week endeavor. We are going to be dealing with dust and the effect from the fallout of the volcano ash for a couple of weeks at least, if not months. So I'm asking Barbadians to manage your expectations and understand that this is not something that we can get done in a day or even in a week. We're looking at a process that's going to take a number of weeks to get Barbados back to some level of normalcy. And that is, of course, assuming that there are no further significant ash deposits. I wish at this point in time to update you as to where we are with certain ministries so you know what is open, what is still closed, and what progress is being made. So the Sanitation Service Authority, along with the NCC, has taken a number of steps to ensure that the bag ash is collected in a timely manner. Officials have been deployed in communities doing visual checks. There is now an active hotline to receive calls from residents to activate the collection exercise, and a team has been mobilized to respond to any request. The hotline number is 262-5326 or 27. 262-5326, 262-5327. On a different point, the SSA has also reported that persons are still commingling the ash with other household waste, and this poses a danger both to the workers on the trucks as well as to the compacted trucks themselves, which were not designed to handle the ash. So I'm asking you please to call the hotline and make arrangements for the proper collection of the ash. The Grantley Adams International Airport remains open for flights. The work of keeping the airport clean and safe for flights is going to be an ongoing one, which will involve all of our partners over the coming weeks. The fish markets will be open tomorrow at 8 a.m. That is tomorrow, Monday the 19th of April, 2021, from 8 a.m. to the public with the exception of the Bridgetown Market, which is still being cleaned and will open on Tuesday, and Payne's Bay Market, which is closed until further notice due to roadworks and the need for some repair. New protocols have been instituted for the markets to mitigate the circumstances with the ash, including frequent cleaning, covering, and the bagging of fish. I'm asking you please to cooperate with the officials on site. The Bridgetown Port is still in the process of being cleaned, but significant progress has been made. The sheds will be open and deliveries restarted to the public from Shed 2 and Shed 4, commencing tomorrow, Monday, April the 19th, 2021. With respect to the cleanup of our beaches, the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and the NCC will begin addressing the ash on the beach, utilizing the self-propelled beach cleaner to agitate the sand and to change the ashy appearance closer to the white sand appearance for which Barbadian beaches are well known. This process will also remove other debris from the beach. The Ministry and the NCC have consulted with the Barbados Sea Turtle Project and have determined that at this early stage of the nesting season, we can safely utilize the beach cleaner. Each beach will be assessed on an individual basis as conditions on each beach is unique. This option is considered to be the most efficient and poses the least environmental impact at this time. Cleaning will start from Dover Beach on tomorrow, Monday, April 19th, and work in a westerly direction through Worthing, Rockley, Hastings, Needham's, Carlisle Bay, and Brandon's as required. The average time for cleaning most beaches is approximately two hours, and the public is asked to cooperate with the rangers and other officials on site. Both the Barbados Licensing Authority and the Barbados Water Authority will reopen for business on Tuesday, 20th April, 2021. The Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security is set to commence full operations, including the provision of services to the public from tomorrow, April 19th. While all veterinary services have been resumed, please note that the incinerator services are still unavailable until further notice. Public markets will resume full operations between the hour of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Hours, however, vary across individual markets. All state-owned enterprises following under the purview of the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security will resume regular services from tomorrow. These include BA DMC, BMCLA, SMI, and BAMC. All factory operations are also ready to start, and the, 20, the 2021 sugarcane harvesting season will continue in earnest with Portville Factory set to receive canes for processing from 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please note that while all services are resumed, certain arrangements in respect of COVID-19 precautions and protocols 
will still limit the overall amount of services provided at any given time under the Ministry of Agriculture. The public is also urged to follow the COVID-19 protocols instituted at the various entities and departments under this ministry's purview. All of the departments under the Ministry of Health will be open and resume normal operations from tomorrow. This is with the exception of the St. Philip Polyclinic, which will be closed on Monday and Tuesday, except for emergencies, and this is to facilitate the administering of COVID-19 vaccinations. The St. Philip Polyclinic will resume normal operations from Wednesday, the 21st of April, 2021. With respect to the other installations of government, the following buildings are set to be open from tomorrow. Warren's Tower 2, the Baobab Tower, the Warren's Office Complex, Government Headquarters, E. Humphrey Walcott Building, Frank Walcott Building, and the Government Electrical Department and the Sedima are all open from tomorrow. The Weymouth Corporate Center is already open from last week. And finally, the Supreme Court will be open from Tuesday. This has indeed been a difficult period for us, Barbados. And it's likely to be a prolonged period of discomfort as we continue with our efforts to clean up Barbados and get ourselves back on track. I'm just asking that we spare a thought and send a prayer for our brothers and sisters in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, whose lives have been changed in ways that we cannot possibly imagine and for whom the danger is not yet over. There are a number of humanitarian efforts to provide assistance for the residents of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I'm asking you please to look out for them and in whatever small way that you can, please contribute to these efforts because one day it may be us and we may be asking for help. So let us be our brother's keeper and let our brothers and sisters in St. Vincent and the Grenadines benefit in some way from the charity that we try to exhibit here at home in Barbados. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. God bless you.